Uh, my my mother, uh, Allah Yerhamha, uh, died between my uh, kitab and my wedding. Um, SubhanAllah, sudden stroke. Um, literally, uh, we were supposed to go wedding dress shopping that day. And she, she died in the closet, uh, sudden stroke. And that was a deeply disruptive moment for me. Like, I mean, it wasn't a moment of questioning of faith, but it was a moment of questioning uh, the worth of existence at that point. Like, I really felt debilitated when she when she passed away. And um, uh, I can I can replay every moment of that week. And, and you know, Jamal, I know that your your father passed away recently. Allah grant him Jannah to free those. All of us who lost our parents, Allah grant them all. Jannah and, and unite us with them. Uh, that was a, a really painful and debilitating moment, and one where I really was just questioning the, you know, not I wasn't questioning faith. I'd gotten beyond questioning faith. It was questioning my own worth to the world at this point, right? So it's like you lose the resolve to live, and um, uh, and you lose the resolve to want to do anything great. So I'm, I'm a I mean, I've always been a deeply, I'm, I'm, I've always been, honestly, I've always been a very motivated person, right? I mean, just, I have, alhamdulillah, a really high level of motivation. I don't credit that to myself. That's Allah Azza wa Jalla and just parents that set really high goals and standards. Um, but that, that was a point in my life where I just, I, I was ready to just kind of like, you know, uh, curl up in bed for 80 years or whatever Allah Azza wa Jalla would have left for me in this life and kind of lost a sense of purpose. Um, and uh, I do, you know, at, and around that time, I basically just told myself, um, you know, I was like, I'm going to be great for her. You know, like everything I do, inshallah ta'ala, if, if, I'm, if I'm able to be great, um, and may Allah Azza wa Jalla allow us all to be great. And when I say great, I'm not talking about, again, I'm talking about great in his sight. Um, may Allah Azza wa Jalla allow us all to be great in his sight. But that's, that's sort of the self-talk, right? Was, I'm going to be great for you. I'm going to be great for her. And so... Uh, the idea was this idea of a sadaqa jariya that our parents invested way too much in us uh, for us to fold. Um, and so that was my moment. Like that was really my moment where I had told myself, um, you know, at some point uh, as that was all um, playing out that um, I'm not just going to buckle because that would be uh, something that she would hate for me. And I'm going to, I'm going to rise inshallah and do the best that I can. So, um, yeah, that was, I think, from my, my, my moment um, beyond uh, questioning of faith. Questioning of faith was very gradual. I can't really point to a, a moment where I lost faith uh, as a young person. But I can point to that exact moment where I lost purpose. And I had to really reclaim a sense of purpose. Um, and so anything that I do, anything that I do, anything that I do, I connect it back to that moment. And I connect it to it being for her and being an answer to uh, to her dua. So any goodness, I, I try to attribute it to that. And I try to, you know, they say, go back to the place that caused you pain and turn it into a place of motivation uh, because you can't reckon with that pain. It's just, it's there. And if you, if you kind of leave it and try to ignore it, then it's not going to work. But similar to how which I was actually talking about the Ibadah Rahman series um, that I'm doing every night, um, you have to, take the pain and turn it into a pursuit of Allah's pleasure. You have to take that pain and turn it into um, potential. You have to take that pain and turn it into a thrust towards Allah. Don't negate the pain. Don't pretend it's not there. Don't try to work around it and be like, you know, I'm just gonna, I live with that pain every day. It, it is my, um, it is my pain um, now for 13 years. I live with that pain every single day of my life and everything that I do has a connection to that pain. So um, go back to your place of pain, go back to your place of trauma, go back to your place of hardship and use that hardship to push you uh, forward. Don't try to work around it or negate it. And may Allah Azza wa Jal uh, have mercy on our parents and may Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala have mercy on our loved ones that have passed away and may Allah Azza wa Jal allow us all to be uh, reunited with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.